guys amazing machine i'm about to stop and just talk a little a little bit about this car and everything but i'm just loving this car so comfortable so amazing lovely machine Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about my amazing Mercedes W140. Beautiful machine. But before we actually talk about this car and all the updates that I have for you guys, go ahead and watch this uh, short clip of how I was uh, replacing the cluster bulbs. I did replace all the cluster bulbs on this car. Literally, I think there was like 22 or 25 of them. Replaced all of them. And right now everything is working. All my cluster elimination is working, everything else. It's amazing. So totally different car. So I'm just doing some work on the cluster. I'm gonna be removing and uh, replacing all these bulbs with brand new bulbs. So I don't have to come back to it and replace each one of them. I'll just replace all of them, install brand new ones. So these bulbs have different wattage on them, so you always have to make sure that you're putting the right wattage uh, into the right spot, otherwise you'll have issues, you can burn out the cluster, so make sure you know what you're doing. Also these big bulbs are getting replaced, I have new ones. These two bulbs are burnt out and that's why I'm not seeing um, the odometer at all, especially at night. I cannot see my odometer reading. All the bulbs have been replaced on this cluster, literally all of them. Blue ones, black ones, each one of them. And what's nice is, as you can see, uh, if you're not sure what wattage your bulb is, you can look at the cluster, it will tell you two watts and then these ones are 1.2 watts usually so that's awesome all of them are replaced i'm ready to install this back on the car The cluster is back in place. I didn't push it all the way in just yet. First, I wanted to uh, just check to make sure that everything is good, that all the bulbs are working. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn the ignition on, and we're gonna make sure everything is good. The best is to check it at night. Okay, all the bulbs light up. All right. Each one of them right here. And look at that. I can see my mileage right now. It's amazing. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead, start it up. Okay, there you go. Everything is good. Obviously my SRS is on. Okay, gauges all good. Everything is working. Now, the best thing is to check it at night, obviously, but I wanna turn my headlights on. And then I'm gonna, if you're checking it at daylight, you can put something right here, like a cover, so you can make it dark, and so you can make sure that all four big bulbs are good and working. So that's what I need to make sure next. And then if everything is good, 
And also make sure that you check the high beams. There's the bulb, it comes on, high beams are good, everything is amazing. And last thing, like I said, check. Make sure those four big illumination bulbs are working. So I just kind of made a cover right here, but I can see that all four bulbs are lit up and working. So I'm good to go. I can go ahead and push this cluster back in. This is the cover that you take off from here to access the other screw. And once you remove all the screws, you carefully lower it down like this, okay? That's a good time to also clean all this area up right here. And uh, you can also disconnect that OBD connector. So you can also carefully just set it right here on something, make sure it's clean. And then I just want to show you, so these are the two, um, latches there's one here one on the other side so when you're releasing this you have to be really careful you just slide a pick through right here and then you go on top of this and then there's actually you press down on it you see that you press down on that thing and then it will release it will release this lock and then the same thing to that side and then you remove screw right here screw right here and there's a few more on the bottom uh, there's one right there on the other on the other side but those were missing on mine so I'll have to find a couple of those okay and then other than that everything else is looking good here I'm just resting it on this cardboard so it's good and now we can go ahead and take this thing out and replace this parking brake handle parking brake release handle so here's a t20 torx bolt you have to take off and it's located uh actually you see where that bracket is right there you have to take it off from the other side otherwise there's no way of you replacing this so once you remove that bolt you can carefully and as you can see this part is loose now so you can take it out of there and there you go okay it's right here in front of you and now you can go ahead and replace it with this one it's exactly same part uh, it's just broken off right here unfortunately so we're gonna go ahead and replace it As far as this car, guys, I spent the entire day yesterday washing this car. Uh, so first of all, before I washed it, I actually had to clay bar the whole car because the surface was so bad. You could feel like it wasn't smooth. Right now you feel like it's smooth, but before that it was not smooth. It was like rough because of all that brake dust that got accumulated onto the metal panels as well. So it took me a while to do that. I used a clay bar with the uh, soapy water. And then I also, what I did is uh, I washed, you know, I rinsed it off and then I washed it after I did the clay bar, washed it. And then, um, you know, I let it dry. And then later on, I applied uh, the polish uh, on this car by hand. Uh, I do not have currently an electric polisher. So I just, you know, I'm doing most of the work outside. So uh, I did it by hand. It looks amazing. It looks beautiful. I really love it. Uh, the green color really stands out. Uh, amazing machine uh, what I also did is I'm actually waiting on a couple parts I ordered a brand new original uh, taillight seals for it I'll be replacing those I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the s500 badge I kind of like it as of right now 
and then this actually came off this is for the rear parktronic uh this there was like a, a round piece that fell off i do have it but i'm gonna order brand new ones it's kind of like a seal it's a little bit like falling apart no huge not a big deal and then this antenna i'm gonna fix it in a i do have a mast i'm gonna fix that not a huge deal uh, i still need to replace the tires on it uh, but i did clean the wheels guys it took me forever to clean these wheels they're uh, really nice right now. Not super nice, but they're a uh, hundred times better looking than beforehand. Um, and then I also worked on my front bumper. Uh, there was some paint transfer right here. I was able to clean off. So it looks a lot better right now. So much better. I still haven't gotten to fixing my right rear door and the wipers. I just didn't have a chance yet. I just really wanted to take care of this body because it was so dirty and bad and neglected. And literally, it was so bad and neglected that I thought that, you know, the last time they washed this car was probably like 10 years ago or something. Just uh, because of how bad the paint was and everything. Like, it had a lot of contaminants in the paint and all that stuff. Another thing what I did, which is kind of cool, is I bought this from the dealership. It's a touch of paint original to this car. And I touched up a bunch of uh, things. There was just like a couple areas like this, as you can see, that I scraped off the surface rust. I put the rust dissolver, then dried it up, and then I put touch of paint and then clear coat on top. So I did a lot of stuff, especially on the hood here. You know, there was quite a bit of uh, rock chips, but I did all that. And, you know, there's still a couple issues like this uh, side hood doesn't like to close. So there's still some work that needs to be done. Main thing, what I need to focus on next, probably, it's going to be transmission. Transmission is having some issues, especially the reverse gear. But I'm not worried about that. Uh, hopefully, in the near future, I have a friend, actually, who has... Not a friend, but I have a friend who has a shop. And his friend owns an NOS transmission for this car, literally. And you old stock transmission from the 90s so and he's selling it so i'll probably buy it and install it onto this car um i, I really want I, it would be really awesome to have a brand new transmission in this car especially because he has an nos um in other case I'll, i would have to probably rebuild it or do something to it uh but as of right now i'm just super happy i also put so i polished it by hand and i also put um uh, the um um ceramic coating on top uh, later so i I cleaned this car up really, really well, and it's shiny, and it's so beautiful, and stands out. Really love this car, you know. It's not perfect, but it's getting there. I'm giving this car all the love and all that, guys. Don't forget to save your classic cars, whatever you guys have. Um, they're amazing machines. They don't make them like they used to. Uh, but uh, this W140, I just, I'm so in love with this car. And I don't care what people say. I don't care what other YouTubers say about this chassis w140 is go always going to be in my heart and it's one of the strongest built tanks uh, if you ever compare the suspension on this w140 uh, versus a new mercedes you will see the big difference even with uh if you compare w140 to a w124 or even w123 this w140 is is literally it's a tank if you see if you ever see the control arms in the front that this car has it's insane they're so massive uh so well built um it's pretty crazy guys all right guys so before we go ahead and just uh, drive it around a little bit i'm just gonna uh, show you under the hood and show you this amazing engine i haven't really done much to the engine it needs engine mounts still because the car has a vibration on idle it's probably it's never been changed i, I looked at the mounts and their original mercedes mounts from like 1994. And that's how they used to make cars back then look at this it's amazing it's like double windows so fat thick Here's an amazing engine. Like I said, I haven't done anything to this engine other than oil change. And, you know, I'll have to change the engine mounts and go through this uh, stuff. And, you know, I'll have to um, clean up the engine bay. And other than that, everything is amazing. I really love the M104 engine. Super reliable, you know. And uh, what I'm saying, you know, yeah, they have head gasket issues sometimes. And, you know, um, other issues with the engine harness but once you do everything go through them once and do everything properly man these cars these engines are amazing they will tell they will literally take you from new york to alaska anchorage um that's how amazing these cars are and engines so reliable
such an amazing car guys i have no words super comfortable super awesome i'm just kind of like stretching its legs right now but as you can see this is uh, working right now i don't know why check engine light came on but uh that the mileage counter is uh working it, it was it used to be like not lit up but right now everything is good it's all lit up and great it's awesome This is history, guys. You gotta love and appreciate the, the history. And this is the real history, that big S-Class, especially that it's green. I just love the color and everything of this car. All right, guys, there she is, all safe and sound, sitting pretty nice and beautiful. I have no idea how many hours, but I put so many hours of work into the body of this car because it was so neglected and it was so bad so dirty and uh had a lot of brake dust particles etched on or caked onto the panels it was so bad the wheels were horrible right now the wheels look really nice not in the nicest shape but uh you know they still look really nice after i spent hours cleaning the brake dust off of them um it was literally it was so bad it was about like a one millimeter brake dust uh, layer on those wheels other than that she's sitting amazing beautiful lovely machine i'm so in love with this car guys guys that's gonna be it for this video thanks so much for watching see you in the next one take care subscribe like this video comment down below bye